Later this year, Fury will hit PCs and PS4 systems across the world. This game is the brainchild of the Game Bakers, an indie studio comprised of two former Ubisoft members, Emmerich Thoa and Audrey Le Prince, and this is the follow-up to their 2014 Wii U and 3DS game Squid's Odyssey. The game casts you as a futuristic samurai escaping from a weird prison, and the only way out is through the Guardian standing in your path. Now here are five reasons why you should be excited about this upcoming slash em up. The characters are the work of Afro Samurai manga artist and writer Takashi Okazaki. His modern take on ancient Japanese styling shine through in all of the designs as they incorporate elements like Oni Mask and Samurai Hakama. His trademark style also extends to the protagonist and his sidekick. Your character is aided by a guy with a giant rabbit for a head. In Afro Samurai, the titular character was stalked by a guy wearing a giant toy bear head upon his bonds. But here you're followed by a guy wearing a purple rabbit head with glowing red eyes. His reason for doing so is unclear, as are his motives, but it looks pretty cool and it's thanks to him that you even have a shot of getting out of this hellhole. Imagine a cross between Titan Soul and DMC. Titan Souls was a boss rush game, and Fury follows this pattern. You'll go down through the levels to get back to Terra Firma, but the only way down is fighting through sequential bosses. The visual start is a lot like Devil Trigger moments in DMC, with bright garish colours and stark whites, and it's a look that definitely leaves a lasting impression. Fury is hard, damn hard, and there has been a surge in tough games at the moment and Fury is definitely following this trend. It requires precise timing and measured attacks to bring down the Guardian standing in the way of your freedom. As is the way with bosses, the idea is to figure out patterns and use that knowledge to bring them down, and the feeling that comes with successfully taking them out is amazing. The game incorporates bullet hell mechanics into its fighting sequences. Like Cult Hit and Nier, enemies will cover the enemy with masses of pulsating plasma in an attempt to bring you down. Quick reflexes and a sharp trigger finger will be required to navigate your way through the colourful onslaught to continue your assault. We've only played a little bit of Fury so far, but it's shaping up to be an excellent title. Its combination of strategic melee fighting and bullet hell blasting is an interesting pairing that we see very rarely, so it'll be good to see if the game bakers could pull this one off. There are questions as to how long the game will actually be, but considering how tough the Guardians are, you won't be getting through them very quickly. You'll need to analyse them closely and work your way around their moves to best them. The question is, are you up for the challenge? Sure to back the God as a geek Patreon.